these are pretty good ones, these are <laughs> Steady on We're going to sit there, my desire to share themselves and their experiences with each other, and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. It is making a commitment to friendship and mutual respect, which calls for honesty, patience, courage, and plenty of humour. Marriage is where each partner is there to support one another, whatever the circumstances. It requires closeness and distance. The closeness of a couple growing together and enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. Today is about the joining of best friends. Two individuals who are about to promise to love each other. Today, tomorrow, hopefully forever. Before we start the formal part of the ceremony, I'd like to invite Ray to come to the front to read a verse chosen especially for today. So, would you like to come and join me, Ray? When you're ready. Today is the day you will always remember the greatest in anyone's life. You will start off the day just two people in love. <laughs> and you'll end up as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of the journey. With moments to cherish and treasure. Go on, Dad, you can do it. We're doing a grand jump. Go on, right. <laughs> <laughs> and although there will be times when you both disagree, you're doing great. Please, will Go on, Dad. There will surely be a way, my pleasure. You will have heard many words of advice in the past. When the secrets of marriage were spoken, will you know that the answers lie hidden inside, where the bond of true love was broken? <laughs> and with the luck, all your hopes and your dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys. But today is the day it all starts. <laughs> Weddings are meant for crying. <laughs> Just a little. Too many memories. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the formal part of the ceremony. The place in which we are all now met has been registered according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are here to witness the joining in marriage of Sean William Flynn and Angela Rita Winwood. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. 
Sean and Angela, before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the marriage ceremony and the vows that you are about to make to each other. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. So I'm now going to ask you each in turn to declare that you do not know of any legal reason why you should not be married to each other. If you could repeat after me, please, Sean. I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... That I know not... That I know not... Of any lawful impediment... Of any lawful impediment... Why I, Sean William why I, Sean William Flynn, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Angela Rita Wingwood. So Angela Rita Wingwood. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not, I know not, not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Angela Rita Wingwood. Why I, Angela Rita Wingwood, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony to Sean William, to Sean William Flynn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived when the bride and groom will contract their marriage before you, their witnesses. Could I ask the two formal witnesses, Martin and Ray, to come and stand on either side of our bride and groom, please? She'd like to come now. Ray, do you want to come to and now I need to ask who has the rings? unbroken circle, symbolising unending and everlasting love. It is the outward sign of the promises that you are now about to make to one another. So, Sean, if you would like to take the appropriate ring and pop it onto Angela's third finger of her left hand, you just hold it in place, and if you would like to say to her, I call upon these persons here present, I call upon these persons here present, to witness that I, Sean William to witness the I, Sean William Flynn. Do take the Angela Rita Wingwood. Do take the. Do take the Angela Rita Wingwood. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Would you like to just undo that? I give you this ring as a token of our future lives together. I promise to be loving, to be faithful, and to be loyal to you in loving, living our lives together. This ring is a symbol of unity, in which our two lives are now joined in one and broken circle, in which, wherever we go, we will always return to one another. And now, Angela, if you'd like to take the other ring, you can stand back and and you'd like to say to him, I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Angela Rita Wingwood. To witness that I, Angela Rita Wingwood. Do take thee, Sean William Flynn. Do take thee, Sean William Flynn. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Thank you. Sean, I give you this ring as a token of our future lives together. I promise to be loving, to be faithful and to be loyal to you in living our lives together. This ring is a symbol of unity in which our two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle in which wherever we go, we will always return to one another. Thank <laughs> you. 
Didn't she do? Yeah. <coughs> Sean and Angela, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and you're about to take your seat. And now I'm going to invite Dawn to come to the front because she has a surprise for Sean and Angela <coughs> which she's prepared especially for today. So if you'd like to take my place. <laughs> This is my best shot. <laughs> I love not. Chains do not hold a marriage together. It is threads, hundreds of tiny threads which sew people together through the years. Picture hundreds, thousands of threads as long as love is. For instance, picture kindness, how smoothly it unfurls when people care as much about each other as themselves. Picture gentleness when times are less than easy, a reassuring stream of soothing words. Respect the essence of being a partner, each one delighting in the other and see laced around through everything everywhere, diamond twinkling filaments of laughter. These profound priceless collections start so simply, with a smile perhaps or an admiring glance. Picture again these hundreds, thousands of threads as long as love is, larger than life itself. <laughs> Today, a knot is being tied in the strands that Angie and Sean have started to spin out together, a love knot together. Thank you so much, that was brilliant. Not easy to stand up in front of everybody at all. <laughs> Would you both stand, please? You've done it. Sean and Angela, in accordance with the law of this country and the vows that you have just made to each other, it is my pleasure and privilege to declare you to be husband and wife together. Congratulations, Mr. <laughs> part of the ceremony it just remains for our bride and groom to sign the register so they're now going to move behind the table and Sue will show them what they need to do and we're now going to invite Dean Alan to come and play for us for the first part of the signing of the register did you know that love can grow any place where people go And I can tell By what I see You have found a place with me The sun is high, the day is new I have found a place With you Every place and Every face casts a spell and leaves a trace with you in mind and with you near. Myth is gone, the past is clear. Here with scars of now and then, so you and I begin. Did you know I've been searching? Did you know I've been blind? Did you know I've been touching? Anything I could find? Did you know that here below, moving where my feelings flow, you come to me in time that's new? Spend it in a love that's true Far beyond the fatal noise Bathed in all life's simple joys Did 
you know I've been searching? Did you know I've been blind? Did you know I've been touching? Anything I could find? Did you know that love can grow any place where people go? And Sean can tell by what he sees, he has found a place within you. <laughs>